All right, we're going to talk the beginning basics of polynomials and their graphs. And so what we're going to talk about is end behavior. First up, a little bit of um, vocab. So again, an example of a polynomial. x cubed, 2x squared. Basically, coefficients have to be real numbers. So I can have a 1, a 2, a square root of 2, a pi. Rational numbers, irrational numbers, I can have fractions as long as they are real numbers. No imaginary. Powers have to be whole numbers. So in other words, I can't have negative numbers, or I can't have fractional exponents. And so a polynomial function is just when we say y equals, or f of x equals that polynomial. So we've got different names. Um, we talked about, again, degree was the highest power So if we have x to the 0, that's just y equals 3. That's a constant um, polynomial. And it doesn't cross. It doesn't have any x-intercepts, unless it's actually on the x-axis, being y equals 0. If it's degree 1, that's a linear function. It'll cross once. If it's a quadratic, it'll be x squared, degree 2. Um, and it might cross twice if it looks like this, right? It'll cross twice, but it could just be tangent. It could only cross once, or it might not ever cross. So the maximum x amount of x-intercepts is 2. Cubic is degree 3, so anything to the third power. Um, it could cross three times, 1, 2, 3, but it could only cross once. Quartic, anything 2x to the fourth power is the, the quartic. Um, and so we could cross four times, but we don't need to cross that many, so that's why I said max. And a quintic, uh, degree five. And so again, it could have negatives out front. It could have, this is what we call a binomial, because there's two terms, monomial, monomial, things like that. But it might cross five times here. So first off, let's decide whether it's a polynomial function, be able to recognize it. Not a polynomial. Next one. Okay, so we've got fifth, two, fourth. And so writing it in standard form, let's write the x to the fourth next. And the plus root 10, so we're okay. It is a polynomial, degree 5, type quintic, and the leading coefficient Leading coefficient is going to be very important. That's the number out in front, the leading coefficient. Uh, the next one. So we're allowed to have fractions that are numbers out in front. So this is good, and it's already in standard form. The degree is 3, making it a cubic. And the leading coefficient in this one, leading, we'll call it LC, is 1. because there's a 1 out front here. And next, because this is a negative 2, this is not a polynomial. All right, use direct substitution to evaluate f of x equals this when x equals 2. So what this looks like in function notation is, what is the function value when x equals 2? So negative 3 times 2 cubed plus 2 squared plus 12 times 2 minus 5. That's negative 3 times 2 cubed is 8. Remember exponents before multiplication. Plus 4 plus 24 minus 5. So negative 24 plus 4 plus 24 minus 5. 
24, 24 cancel out, you get negative 1. So f of 2 is negative 1. Why do we do this? Well, to remember that if you ever want to graph something, you can always plug in values. You can create a table. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk just basic end behavior. What is What are polynomials doing at the end? Polynomials by design, um, it either goes up or down. Polynomials go up or down. And they might sometimes both go up. And so what I wanted to do is look at the pattern that develops based on the degree being odd or even and being positive or negative. So I like to relate it back to the basics. So the basic degree 1 polynomial and why I know it's degree 1 is that x is being raised to the first power. So I've got it graphed. In layman's terms my end behavior is it's going down and to the left and up and to the right. And so this function notation, what I'm describing here is the end behavior. What is it doing as you go all the way to the left and all the way to the right, ignoring what happens in the middle? And what I mean by ignoring what happens in the middle is things will get funky, like right here. But it'll go up to the left and up to the right. We'll talk about the middle stuff eventually. So, this first part, as x goes to negative infinity, as x, so this is talking about the left, as x goes to negative infinity. As you go to the left, the y value goes down, so the y value goes to negative infinity. And as you go, as x goes to positive infinity, as you go to the right, f of x, the y value, goes up. So it goes to positive infinity. So what I want you to get is that as x goes to, f of x goes to, this will always, you always talk about the left and the right every single time. This is the only thing that's going to change. So notice that the leading coefficient is 8 thirds, a positive 8 thirds, and it's going up and to the right. Now, if it's a negative out front, leading coefficient negative 3, um, it's going to go up to the left and down to the right. Notice that it's the exact opposite from what we did up here. Up to the right, down to the right. So as x goes to the left, you're going up. So f of x goes to positive infinity. As x goes to the left, y goes up. As x goes to the right, y goes down. So down is negative infinity. Alright, let's talk degree 2. Parabola is the basic um, parabola, and it goes up to the left, up to the right. So as x goes to the left, y goes up. To positive infinity and it goes up on both sides. This is when the leading coefficient is a positive 1. So when it's positive it goes up, but notice that if it's a negative, and remember how this goes to the right 2 and up 1 as a parabola, oops, graphed it wrong. Remember that if it's a negative, it goes upside down. And so it goes down to the left, down to the right. Leading coefficient is a negative 1. And so it goes down to the right. As you go to the left, you go down, negative infinity. As you go to the right, you go down, negative infinity. So what I want us to notice first off is as we start to notice the pattern, even degrees, degree 2, degree 2 because x was being squared here, um, going both going the same direction, both going the same direction. Odd degree, opposite directions, opposite directions. And so positive line, negative line, and we know how those look. So 
degree keeps increasing. Let's look at odd degree, but degree 3. Again, it's a positive 2 that's a leading coefficient. And so it goes down and to the left and up and to the right, just like the basic line. So as x goes to the left, f of x goes down to negative infinity. And as it goes to the right, f of x goes up to positive infinity. And so in the same way, we've got, now I have it in factored form. So factored form, a x squared, another x squared really, and another x. So that's degree 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Odd degree, and it has a negative out front, so I'm going to say negative leading coefficient. And so in layman's terms, it's going up to the left, down to the right, just like a negative line, the basic odd degree function. like your basic negative line. So it goes left and up, positive infinity, and right and down, negative infinity. Um, this one, degree 4, it goes down and to the left, down and to the right. So this one behaves like basic negative x squared parabola. On the ends. On the inside it does stuff. But so as x goes to the left it goes down negative infinity and as x goes to the right it goes down negative infinity. So this has a leading coefficient of negative 2. Emphasis on the negative. Where this one is degree 6 because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Imagine multiplying it out. Um, and we are going to get to, so this is x-intercept of 0, 3, negative 1, and negative 4, right? We did these a lot with um, regular parabolas, things like that. Um, but we'll be able to figure out how to graph these next time around, and we'll slow this part down for you next time. For right now, I want you to realize up and to the right, up and to the right, like a basic positive x squared graph because it's positive it's going to go up and to the right and up and to the left so they're both going to a positive y value so what I want to make sure you get is how to write this today notice that it goes as x goes to the left negative infinity as x goes to the right positive infinity so what did we just notice well, if it's an odd degree, what we mean by that is one, it has everything to do with the degree of the polynomial. If it's odd, it behaves like your basic line, positive line and negative line. So up and to the right, down and to the left, or up and to the left, down and to the right if it's negative. If it's even, think basic parabola. If it opens, if it's positive, it opens up, and so it'll go up and to the left, up and to the right. And if it's negative, it opens down, up, down to the left, down to the right. So let's put this into action. Here's what I mean. So describe in behavior. Degree four. Leading coefficient negative. So this behaves like degree 4, think x squared. How does a negative x squared behave? Well, it goes down to the left, down to the right. And so I'm going to say as x goes to negative infinity, f of x, the y value, goes to negative infinity as well. And as x goes to positive infinity, 
the y value also goes to negative because it's going down and to the right both ways. All right, the degree is 3. Leading coefficient, positive. So think y equals x, just your positive line. Down to the left, up and to the right. Might do funky things in between, but as x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to the left, and as x goes to the right, f of x, as x goes to the left, y goes down. So y goes to negative infinity, and y goes up to positive infinity to the right. Alright, next one. Degree 2, leading coefficient, is negative. So I think... Oh, sorry. Degree's not 2. I was being fooled by my own trick. Degree is 101. Odd. So you have to think um, where it's negative, and so it behaves like a negative line. Think a line. The basic, most basic, um, most basic odd degree function. So, up to the left, down to the right, as x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to positive infinity, we talk left and right. f of x goes to, f of x goes to. As x goes to the left, we're going up. And as x goes to the right, we're going down. Degree? Well, if we multiplied this out, we'd have x squared times x to the 6th, so the degree 8. That's even. And if we multiplied this times this, it would be leading coefficient of positive 12x to the eighth, so it's positive. Think parabola. So it goes like this. Up and to the left, up and to the right. So as x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to positive infinity, f of x It'll go, as x goes to the left, as x goes to the right, the y value goes up either way. So it doesn't matter. Hopefully this cleared it all up. Degree 4, think x squared. Degree 8, think x squared. This one had a negative leading coefficient. This one had a positive leading coefficient. And so what this is going to help us do is know where to start above or below and know where to finish above or below.